crazy idea. What if we had another scientist on? Like, right now. Random, I know. But it'll be fun, I promise. I have wanted to go to space my entire life. It has always been the goal. I am Katia Chacerera, and I am the first Mexican woman in space and the youngest American woman in space so far. Space for Humanity came into my life when I was a NASA engineer. Back in 2019, I saw an application. Now that commercial flights have become available, Space for Humanity is a nonprofit organization that wants to sponsor flights for amazing individuals so that they can go to space and have this transformative experience. When they told me that they had selected me to go to space, I immediately started crying. I'm excited to tell you that I'm gonna be our citizen astronaut number one, and you're going to space. <laughs> My mom is gonna freak out. <laughs> it was both gratitude, pride, and just such a deep love for the field that had welcomed me in this way. I definitely noticed right away that I was the only woman in the team. And unfortunately, this is something that has been very common for me ever since I decided to study engineering. And that is one of my biggest missions to change that. I think that training to go to space is probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life because it's kind of like space camp, but real. <laughs> The day of the launch, when we drove up to the rocket, I felt a lot of emotions. It just, it feels like your life coming full circle. When the rocket took off, the sky is such a beautiful blue around you. But above, you start to see what looks like a circle of darkness. And seconds later, you're in space. <laughs> One of the coolest parts of this experience was, of course, microgravity. I didn't know how I would react to it or be in it, but it was surprisingly natural. And I say that now as someone who trained per days to be able to be in it. But it is just so interesting the way you can move across an entire capsule with the force of your two fingers. From top to bottom, it is a pretty quick trip, but it does not feel like it at all. From launch to landing, it is about 15 minutes. Being the first Mexican woman in space has been very special. I have seen the eyes and the faces of children of Mexico. Little girls who are coming up to me crying. I will turn and look at their moms and say, what's wrong? Why are they crying? And they will say, she's feeling that because she heard you talk about this experience. For my entire life, I thought that my goal of going to space was the end goal. Now I realize it is only the beginning and I will not stop until I see the next Mexican little girl or boy in space. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.